no, 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 no. They better get used to it now because it's going to be the whole damn trip. Good you morning. For a life changing trip. I am, um, I was telling your people and my people, I'm going to cry, I think, when we land. You're going to watch a grown man cry. Today. I can't wait. It's been a long time coming. Stay tuned for double vlogs. Okay, I love it. <laughs> see how many things we messed up. I get freaked out until I get my boarding pass because like the international trips, sometimes you don't get a boarding pass if your paperwork was Yeah, right. no, we'll be all right. It sucks if you right. find out at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we got first class service now. We're yeah. good to go. What is this? The part that you just, you don't look, you just keep walking. I've done a horrible job explaining this. We are going to Japan. That's all I'm going to tell you. I obviously know what we're going to do, but I didn't even tell you guys where we were going. So we're going to Japan and we got business class, which I'm excited to share with you guys because I've never flown like actual business class before. Let's see how it goes. Grant going to take a pee after one beer. Big man, old baby, baby bladder. Time for business class, baby. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you the unofficial official Instagram review of United Polaris Business Class. This is so nice. Get to lay down. Like, this is so sick. Big ass screen. Get my own little, figure out how to use this, cabinet. little table and the seat lays down into a bed. I'll try to get Jimmy to come up and film me laying down. <laughs> See you in 14 hours. United Flight 79, non-stop service to Narita, Japan. Well. <sighs> we made it. Thank God, dude. Easy peasy. I'm so excited. We're going outside for the first time and I'm just like, Jimmy's gonna cry. This is, I don't know if you guys know this, this is my sixth trip here, but it smells like diesel. <laughs> it's cool to be able to share the experience with Jimmy. He's never been here before, so I don't know if you guys know this, but this is my sixth time here. Pretty crazy. So, to be able to, that's Spanish, Jimmy. <laughs> this is gonna be a long trip. <laughs> All right, we're going to get the rental car. Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> the stupid foreigners are here. Americans are here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people think of us, right? I know. <laughs> this it. has to be the official first meal. My favorite food in the world. <laughs> Look at how it with me good that looks. <laughs> we, did run, oh. we did run out of money. We ran out of money quick. Um, this is pork mm -hmm. curry. Okay. It's called katsu curry white rice and curry sauce. It's not spicy, but it is damn delicious. And then obviously my favorite coffee in the world. Was this like six, six bucks. bucks? Yeah. This was six dollars. <laughs> no, cool. Welcome to Japan. Awesome. Feels surreal being here. An hour off the flight and we get to eat katsu curry like, oh, so sick. We're driving up to uh, the area where we're staying near the track right now. It's an absolutely beautiful area. So I can't wait to show you guys. I don't think there'll be any driving in this video, but I may show you guys the car. We'll see. This is going to be a good week. I am super excited. Oh, I'm going to drive it. Oh, I'm going to drive it. Oh, God. I just went into the other lane. Go the police. Oh, God. We made it. We are in Neomatsu. Yeah, Neomatsu. We 
it's Neo Neo, Neo, like the RB25. RB25 Neo, Neo, Neo Matsu. Neo Matsu. The insurance hell. Yeah. Oh, here, we gotta do this. Hey, TJ, I know you're not watching my videos because you suck, but watch this. You ready? The this boys is, are gonna know. The this, boys this that know, horrifying. know. You this, ready? This is horrifying. If you know, you know. Grant, you there's polls, Grant, there's polls, Grant. There's polls! Oh, you hesitated. <laughs> you hesitated. God damn it. It's our little home for the next what? two weeks. Look at how sick oh. this is. I can't wait to show you the room. We are staying in a traditional Japanese room for the next two weeks, which I don't think I've ever stayed in one, so. This is gonna be really fucking interesting. All right. Let's see the toilet room first. Uh oh. Where's the toilet? Uh, maybe it's in here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Western style toilet. All right. Whew. Oh, look at this. This is sick. Wow. Okay, we're good. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Be in here. What do you think, dude? Okay, hold up. Where is my toilet? <laughs> okay, so I have the same question. Why is that locked? Why, why are you giggling at me? <laughs> I don't know, that's where my toilet is. Why is that locked? How do I? Okay, okay. This looks like a creepy No, scene. you turn the lights on, dude. Traditional. You know what, dude? We're, we're just giving you the full experience. And yeah, then look, yeah, well, you have a nice what's little what's up back? What's up back? editing station here. <laughs> oh, no way. Go, dude. No way. Um, I would figure out, I'd go down and ask about your toilet. Toilet, because the door is locked. What's behind <laughs> Jimmy's luck. You just gotta poop in the shower. Just poop in the shower, he said. <laughs> Obviously awake before anybody else and we're walking to get breakfast you have to go to family mart to get breakfast when you're in Japan convenience stores have the best food I'm so excited I'm so happy to be back All right, here's the sign oh this is the sign oh my god that's it we are here oh my god take a picture on my phone we are here we that made it <laughs> Put my HKS FCON V Pro ECU from my American car in this car. Okay. This ECU was bad. That was in the car. Nice. Common for the WVTI ones. Yeah, the capacitors go bad. Up, yeah. So I shipped my ECU out here and had a tuner who's actually at FD right now tuning tune the car on Higashi. That's sick. So yeah, I'm super pumped. So it's a little rich, just Ebisu shit. Once it warms up and clears out, it'll be good though. Yeah, a little Italian tune-up. A little ta Italian tune-up. This car is cool, dude. All right, let's go up to North Course. We'll set all our shit up and then we'll wait for your car to get here. Uh, cool. Deal? Go. Sweet. This hill up to North is wild. I am flat out in the rental car right now. <laughs> what has Grant have shoved in the back of this? That's why people love these things because there's so much trunk space. Oh, I, I, don't think, I don't think it's the fact that they don't break or they slide amazing. I think it's the fact that they have all that trunk space. Look at all the shit that was in the trunk with room to spare. Is this spare or is that trash? Ah, uh, that's my stock one, so if I total my car with my Koyo, I have something to put in. Damn, original XT7. Wow. Hey, Jim, if you need it for now, I have a spare deep corn. Really? Yeah, you could throw in the car. It's not great, but just to get you going. Yes, please. Damn, this is a gold badge car, too. That is <laughs> yeah, funny. It's crazy, right? It's almost disgusting and upsetting to know how cheap these cars were at one point. I say it all the time. Like I can't imagine being able to do this in like 2012. Okay, yeah, fuck that side skirt. That's broken. Right? 
It was funny, the price for you to get a kit, a really, an actual nice kit installed in your car and paid for was a fourth of what it would cost just to ship it to the States. Just to, sh just to ship it. Just to ship it. Oh, I gotta fix that. Help, oh, fuck. It's in here. Oh. So Grant, most people have 100s. Yeah. Why? I feel like 90s are more plentiful. Right? Um, I don't know. Maybe because of Adam. <laughs> I, I'm not being. It's not a dickhead thing. I, I don't. I really don't know because. What made Adam get his Cresta? Like, who suggested him a Cresta? I think it was just what they had. Out of all the cars. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a soda in there. Was there? Who put that? You did that. No. Enjoy this, you fucker. Oh you got my god. You got smeared off. I got, got smeared off. You got iced. In Japan? That's legendary. Drop a knee, baby. I can't do I gotta drive. I'll do it tonight. It's a smirn off. I know. I That's can't drink before I drive it at Mr. Zero Zero One. I'll drink it tonight. Fine. I forgot we're not in Ireland. Alright, Grant. We just showed up about four seconds ago. I have tires. We're going. First hit. Off the trailer. Off the trailer. I've been here in six no months. No crap. Uh, he didn't even check his fucking tire pressure. It's all right. I trust you with my life. Ugh. We'll be fine. I'll fucking die for you, Grant. I'm yeah. not gonna go crazy. I just want to get out. I'm not gonna track. go crazy. I just want to go track. Okay, you got me. Empty track. You probably pulled. It's crazy to think about how many times you probably pulled onto this track. Wow. Jesus Christ, Grant. I don't know what the film. That's crazy, it's so downhill. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. The car feels pretty gripped up. Yeah, it's good. It's on like old Kendas. Wow, this is so steep. Yeah, so what we'll do, we'll start downhill down here. Usually chase drivers on the left side, leads on the outside. Okay. Then we just drag race up the hill. Okay. And then I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't wanna like push my luck, but. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> look at his hands. That's how you know he knows this course like a motherfucker. Dude. He goes, oh, I'm gonna take it easy. Let me hit the fucking wall. Second lap. <laughs> you ran out of the wall. Uh, yeah, that was the easy one. He goes, ah, oh, that was easy. <laughs> second lap. <laughs> oh, second lap. Oh. Oh. Different. Luckily, me and Grant are here early, so uh, it gives me a couple days to catch up before the boys show up. This is all part of the plan. That's the plan. Get here early so that Jim can get comfortable in his car. By the time everyone gets here that has been comfortable in their cars, you're right with us, and then we can just fucking party. Love that. Let's go get your car. Yeah, let's do it. So as you guys remember, we sent my FCON V Pro ECU to Japan to have it tuned. So Power Vehicles was awesome enough to put it in the car and have a car tuned. They didn't have time to mount it. So before we go drive, which you saw, we did just go drive, but before we go drive, I'm gonna permanently mount this in the glove box just so it's not shaking around. Uh, I don't want it to get damaged. I don't want any of the wires to pull out or anything. Just like that. God damn, does it feel so good to be back here. We have the JZX again. I think I showed you guys, and there will be a few driving clips after this. It's day one, just trying to get the car cleaned up and everything. The next video, I'm going to do a full walk around on this car. I think... 
it's really interesting to see what all needs to be done to these in order to make them drift ready at Ebisu. And it's not as much as you think. So next video is gonna be a full walk around build breakdown of the JZX with some driving clips. I hope you guys like the travel video and we're in Japan, we're at Abisu, the greatest place in the world. So thank you guys again for watching. I'm gonna be with Jimmy and all the boys all week, so it's gonna be a f***ing blast. Make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50,000 at the end of this trip. So if we can make that happen, that would be super awesome. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. It'll be soon, I promise.